Hello. Are we are we back? I think it might be back to talk. We are well, back. We're, we're here. Back. Um we're gonna have a battle. Yeah, we are. Or something like that. And actually Actually. Um actually Ha ha um, Until the battle is done, I'm not sharing my screen with Nathan and Ian. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we we are screenless because he's a screeny meanie because mm. I yeah, I uh, made some changes that I want to surprise Ian with for our battle I also made some changes I want to surprise Rusty with for our battle yeah so um, so our buddies uh, Rusty and Ian mm -hmm. they're going to be uh, playing a uh, flat battle. Uh, they're going to be doing both singles and doubles. Yeah. So um, I am going to show you guys on stream without discussing it for the first battle. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm uh, just going just to... Yeah, Rusty, if you give me just a moment, I'm going to go grab my laptop so I can watch. Okay. Uh, I will be right back. Hold on. Okay. Later. It's right here. Yes, it's mine though. Whatever. Hi, whatever. I tried to help, but I'm. I was very excited for this. I'm uh, glad we're going to be doing. Oh, good. So, uh, waiting for Nathan. Um, I, uh, moved all my stuff over to my main file. This is not mm -hmm. Candidas. This is Gloria. Yeah. Uh, this is my, this is my main, um, my main game. Uh, and, uh, so we, uh, we have access to a bunch of TMs and TRs that we don't in the other game. Ian did the same thing with his team. No. Nope. Oh, no? Nope. No what? No, it's, it's still on, it's still on the file I've. I've played, but this is transformed, transforming into my main file. So, okay. But. Ian has completed a lot of the DLC in his file. Yeah. Uh, whereas mine, I've just beaten the elite four where we left off. In fact, that file, uh, is already been cleared. It's ready for a new game. Yeah. Um, that file no longer exists. Yeah. Um, so, uh, we have access, we both have access to both bits of DLC, um, yeah. uh, all of the, the new tutor moves, uh, particularly oh, are yeah. interesting. Ability patches, so these, these guys are as ready for each other as they can be. Mm-hmm. So, um, um yeah, so Nathan, are off. you, are you watching now? I am. Um, so yeah, let's start off with the singles battle. Okay. Uh, and then we'll go with the doubles battle. Okay, so let's do the fight first, and then I'll talk about my strategy, and then we'll do the devil's battle. Yeah, I, I will uh, break down my strategy also. So, um, uh, and we we can maybe even swap stream over to you, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna connect to the internet. Okay, Rusty, I am doing the normal code. Yep. That is right. Just like this one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We haven't put that up that notification, but we we know we know the one. We know the one. Yeah, uh, just to make sure the numbers are in the right order and stuff. Yeah. All right, I am searching. You should see Sunny. I've literally never done a uh, um, battle like this before, so I'm learning how to set it up. I think I got it. You should just need to put in the code and do single battle. Yep. I don't think that's correct. I think we did this when uh, you and I fought. We did. But we didn't do it over internet. We did it over... Uh, it's uh, still the same process. Yeah, it should, should be still... You, you don't have to put in a link. Yeah. Yeah. No, we, we just did it over uh, wireless. Yep. Uh, hey, Sunny... Hey. You can see the starter I actually chose way back in the beginning right there. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to decide myself. Yeah. Okay. What are the battle rules you are putting in uh, place? You want to do set all to level 50. 
Yes. Uh, it's going to be single battle, normal rules, uh, number of Pokemon 1 to 6, set all to level 50s, and all of that 20 minute battle time. Are you okay. banning any items? Nope. Is that possible? I don't know. I don't heard. think so. Okay. Uh, not on this one. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Speaking of Marnie's theme is the uh, music. I, I am. I will note it. He is, has the music turned off. But he is picking one of his Well, nah, he might. They might hear it. Rusty, it. Rusty can set his own. Yeah. But just under, understand that, like, I chose what I chose. I chose what I chose. Okay. And Nathan is here to kind of referee and help guide us. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are you guys ready? Play by play and the color all in one. Yep. The color, by the way, is red because of Rusty's fire types. Okay. Yes. Uh, So here what they're going to be doing is they're going to be picking uh, the order of their Pokemon. Uh, The only thing that really matters is their first Pokemon. Um, And the only reason that being able to pick all of them would ever matter is if they have a Zora. Yeah. But neither would do, so who cares? So choosing the order, do I, do I see which one... Do we see each other's picks on order? No. Nope. Nope, not okay. This is the team preview. Um, so, uh, like said, right, the, just... but the preview is just in party order, not in uh, right. not in order. Right. That, so I still have to figure out which one I think he's going to lead with. And that, that's how it's worked since Gen 6, which is why dedicated the leads are no longer. Yep. Okay. That is an interesting thing that he just said to me. What? The question he just asked is interesting. What? Uh, Ian's not giving away any strat. He's being all uh, skittish today. I am. But the question you just asked me might mean that my uh, strategy uh, is not as effective, effective as I would like. Yep. I just wanted to show off the Diglett man. I see. You are the Diglett man. Ooh, interesting. Ouch, Charlie. So why did you pick that? Yep. So uh, Ian is leading off with his one thing that is really weak to fire types, which is uh, Charlie the uh, Berserker. Um, so we'll, we'll see if he's got uh, a stratagem in mind. Uh, Rusty is leading off with his Magmortar, which is scary. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> oh! Uh, you did. You did flinch me though. Move. You did yes. flinch me though. Yes. Ian used a contact move and got himself burned. That's bad. That means it's, that means that my strategy does work. Yep. Boop. That is a uh, dead cat right there. That is a dead cat. It looks like Ian's going to have to do some on-the-fly adapting. Whatever he was trying to pull with that cat, he couldn't. Nathan, Nathan knows what I was trying to pull with that cat, but that's okay. I have my suspicions. Hmm... So now we have Flygon. Flygon is very scary against uh, uh, fire types. So Rusty's really going to have to figure out how to uh, adapt you. Yup. Hmm. Guntley is using Dragon Dance. So Ian's going to try and set up early and just sweep everything. That is not a horrible strategy. Oh, damn. It has levitate, and I knew that. Yep. Rusty tries to burn him, which would have been smart, uh, but unfortunately it does have levitate, which means he is immune to scorching sand. I uh, I have probably lost this fight with that. That's and really we'll rough. The, the battle ain't over yet. 
We literally... I, we, you we are, are two turns in. We are two turns you, in. If the battle ended right now, you win. Let's see then with Jaws Nine Water. And we see the Nine Tails. Nine Tails, of course, has the Drought ability, so it's going to auto summon the Sun. Yeah, I think you. Yeah, yeah, and I think you sweep me here. It's very possible. Nine Tails goes down, but Rusty did get his sun up, and Rusty is very dangerous in the sun. Uh, Guntley also reveals that it has a life orb. It does have a life orb. That is a scary looking mon. So the question is, how does Rusty adapt? Does he have the adaptability? The answer is no, there are no fire types that get adaptability. He does not have adaptability, that is correct. At least I can't think of um, Not anything I'm, I'm aware of. No, I'm aware. Somebody was trying to sell me something. I feel like someone's trying. Rusty reveals his shiny Cinderace. Let's see if Cinderace can liberal its way out of this one. I wonder. I wonder. Ian is wondering. Which is a beautiful thing. Interesting. So Rusty decides to pop the dynamax here. I thought about it. Uh, actually, that's not 100% correct. Rusty decides to pop the Gigantamax here. He has fed this rabbit some soup, and it now has the ability to stand on a fireball somehow. It doesn't quite make sense because fireballs aren't solid. Like, it's just fire. Okay, anyway, you, you win. I That's my fastest Pokemon. You, you've won. You, 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 I literally can't do anything. So even with the uh, HP boost that you get from Dynamax, or Gigantamax in this case, mm -hmm. uh, he was still able to one-shot. You know that, that means he's a scary monk. Well, yeah, no, I, the, I like, am... like that's that's what I'm saying. You won, you won on turn two by getting a Dragon Dance off with Guntley. Yeah. Well, I am life, life uh, orb boosted and have a Dragon. You do have a Dragon Dance up. You do have a life orb boost. Those are some scary stacks. Yeah, I, I literally, I literally can't do anything. You, you have, you, you outsped my fastest Pokemon. Everything is weak to uh, ground. Not I, everything. Yeah, everything that I have. Everything that I have is weak to ground. Look, it actually takes me to damage. Really? Yes. Which means Rusty could bring it back here. Nope. And Ian decides to pop his Dynamax. This one can't be a Gigantamax because Flygon doesn't have a Gigantamax. Mm -hmm. So if Ian is using his Max Quake here, we'll see. Not nope, Max Wormwind. He's using Max Wormwind. Which is gonna oh Volcarona survives thanks to its focus sash. So Volcarona loses some of uh, attack, which doesn't matter. Uh, and he dodges the hurricane. Yep. Yep. Good use of the focus sash. Feels good. You're you're a mono type team and I've got a dragon ground type, let's see. Ian is also boosting his special defense thanks to the nice quakes. Rusty's definitely got his work cut out for him. Rusty has two Pokemon left, his Magmortar, which we've already seen, and the Chandelure. The question is, which will he pick? Oh, it looks like he's picking the Chandelure. 
Yeah, it, it doesn't matter though. I can't like you won turn two. That's what I said. He does get the max quick off here. Oh, but he does survive again. We see another focus sash. But with uh, Ian stacking up the special defense boost, I'm not sure there's a whole lot the uh, Chandelure can do. Oh, yeah, that energy ball didn't seem to do a whole lot. Yeah. After those uh, two special defense boosts, he's basically amnesia at this point. gets off another earthquake taking off one point of damage he's he's done that twice now it's like, imagine summoning this giant force of uh, powerful force of nature in an earthquake just to get that one little bit, one little bit. <laughs> barely standing <laughs> and then we have the magma Only gets one more earthquake off, and that is game over, my friends. That's game one. Game one. That's true. That is game one. Now we're going to be doing our double battle. I don't no, we're not doing a double battle. Let's see. Can we please do a double battle? No, absolutely not. I You've will. got a single Pokemon that can one shot literally everything. He did not one shot literally everything. It's not. So it's not a fun competitive environment for me. This was. It was fun to see what would happen. But I'm not. Rusty, we're done. Rusty, there's a. There's something that I really wanted to show off. Can I? Can we do a double? Yeah, me please? too. There was a bunch of things I really wanted to show off, but it's not in the cards today. Yeah. Um. So uh, this is challenge by choice. So Rusty can decline the challenge if you would like. Um. I, I, I will say that there was a little bit of, uh, uh, I, I don't want to say panic, but uh, there's a little bit of panic there on Rusty's end. Um, I would uh, think that it probably would have behooved him to, uh, as soon as you lost, uh, uh, what'd you throw out? Oh, I, I, after you, Rusty did the uh, Scorching Sands, um, if he had uh, used uh, Chandelure, because that way uh, Chandelure would have survived due to the Focus Sash, and that way it ha would have had the Solar Beam that would have done a decent chunk. It was Energy Ball, but... He used no. Energy Ball, who also had Solar Beam. It also uh, has Solar Beam. Even when you did have the, the Chandelure out, Sun was still up, so Solar Beam probably would have had a choice there. Yeah. I don't think it would have won, though. It wouldn't have won. Um, and at that point, you, you had given up and were just clicking. Um, but, uh... Okay, what if I don't use Flygon? What if I just take him out of my party and just use five Pokemon? Will you fight me? Okay, you pick who I take out. No, nobody. No, I'm not doing I... a five on six either. I took you. T you take out Flygon. Um, I I have chosen. You take out your Flygon. You choose. Who do I take out? Blaziken. And we're doing a double battle. Double battle. Okay. Double. Okay. I will double agree to that. Okay. Now, this is a time where both players can rearrange their moves if they'd like. They can uh, change uh, TMs or change items around. Um, so we're, we're going to give them just a minute for that. Sir. He's actually going to show it off this time, hopefully. Uh, we'll see. Okay. I am also going to change some items around. Now, because that was... Uh, trainer of battles, he actually still has those focus sashes. He did not burn those focus sashes. That's true. Your items, even if you, they are consumable, aren't actually consumed in their return to you at the end of the battle uh, if you do a PvP battle. Mm -hmm. I think even trainer battles in-game do. They only get consumed if you use them against wild Pokemon, but I don't know that's... Uh, uh, I would have to double-check that to be absolutely sure. But don't take my word as gospel. 
I think I have made all the changes that I want to. I am ready to go. Done all your changing and your rearranging? Mm hmm. Ch -ch -ch changes. I'm still deciding on what I want to do. You're fine. Take as much time as you want. Yes. Uh, Rusty has uh, what might appear to be an inherent disadvantage in that he's only stuck with one type. Um, but a lot of times uh, you see that uh, pairing similar Pokemon together on a team uh, that have similar check is actually a benefit, not a uh, detriment. Well, it, it comes into, into play like a lot of competitive teams are built around a Pokemon checking a thing. Yeah. So if that, if you can overwhelm the check, yeah, then um, you can basically steamroll the rest of their team. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I heard somebody coin the term uh, onslaught to describe that sort of play style. Yeah. Uh, and you saw it uh, especially in like Gens four and five uh, with Dragon Spam or Drag Mag teams. Mm -hmm. um, Drag Mag being uh, five dragons or four dragons and Magna Zone to check the Steel type. Because that's basically the only thing that stops dragons is a steel type. Yeah. Especially when they get to electric stab. Yeah. Because yeah. a lot yeah. of dragons have a have a uh, weakness that turns neutral at electric. Yeah. So so you do the thing, group up and hit it till it dies. Yeah. Especially at that point, uh, dragons all had really good stats. So. Yeah, okay. Uh, I am ready. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Ian, uh, getting that sweep wouldn't have been possible until Gen 7, because uh, that's the first generation flag on Dragon Dance. Yeah. I thought he didn't have it. I was yeah. pretty sure. A lot of dragons that they had been holding out giving Dragon Dance to uh, got it uh, in the last couple of gens. And I needed that speed boost. You yeah, needed... surprised me being faster than Cinderace. I was a little surprised I was faster than Cinderace. Flygon is not um, slow. I also, be, uh, I also could have not G-maxed and uh, used Sucker Punch there, but I had no guarantee you were going to actually attack me. You could have just Dragon Danced again and then been fast enough to uh, hit again. Yeah. yeah. That's why I always really enjoy those Sucker Punch mind games. All right, I, I feel am... like I'm good at winning those. I am okay. searching on double battle. Searching on double battle. I am too. So we should see each other uno momento. Come on. Come on. Come on. Then. There we go. Yay, look, Gloria. Gloria, my darling. Onyx yeah, I, I planned so. around a whole lot of your team that wasn't Guntly. I, I actually wasn't concerned about Guntly. See, I, I knew you would struggle against Guntly, and, uh, and that was... I was not expecting the, the Dragon Dance to go so poorly. I also ex uh, did not expect you to lead with back mortar. It was an interesting pick. Well, it was a uh, counter to uh, the tickler. I figured your plan was to put up rain. Which, to be fair, if you have uh, the tickler, uh, you should have countermeasures for the tickler, because it is the tickler. Well, yeah. Why are we? Why are we still just loading? Rusty may need to press the A button. Oh, yep, I do. Uh, I'll let you decide, Ian. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'll talk about, uh, because uh, this is no longer what I have equipped, uh, Mag Mortar actually had an umbrella on. Ah! I expected you to go hard into rain. Um... Uh, and I was prepared to swap out of Mag Mortar, um, and uh, 
let you deal with my nine tails and then back into mag mortar after rain had been set. I was even ready uh, as far as that went. Um, well, we'll see what kind of double strategies they can do. I'm really excited to see that. I've been watching some BGC stuff here. It's very fun. Please select participating Pokemon. And again, really the only thing that matters in this point is your first two picks. All right. Let's get it going. And I hope you guys are ready. For a fracas! Jiglet is important. It is. I see it being important. Specifically, it's the central piece. You can barely see any sun. It's not so sunny in that uh, picture. It is not so sunny in that picture. And we have Charlie and the Tickler. The horrible, horrible sequel to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> <laughs> Just the worst. So we can only guess what kind of uh, heinous, heinous strategies Ian has this uh, terrifying, horrible jellyfish. Oh, we bust out the Scorching Sands to get some uh, super effective damage on the Tickler. Uh, but with its high special defense stat, it doesn't actually take all that much. Now, Sun's out, so uh, that Surf didn't really do anything, especially much after the mo uh, spread modifier. And the Flamethrower hits Charlie. Charlie is down. Hmm. I was really hoping you wouldn't score two cents. Well, you, you can take solace in the fact that nothing burned the tickler yet. That's really... It was actually, that is actually bad. Yep. Uh, so Ian, again, loses his worthless cat. Okay, so the, the secret I've been holding is that that cat has a uh, rain dance on it. And, and has a, uh, and has a focus, uh, uh, and has a focus sash, yeah, so that it survives an attack. Yeah. Oh, is scorching sands a, a spread move? Yes, it is. Oh, that's cool. Fine, we'll do it this way. Well, he's going to try and set up rain using Max Geyser, uh, and he's going to do that by uh, Dynamaxing the Tickler. It's a big tickle. It is a big tickle. If Rusty can get over this jellyfish, then he's going to be uh, in a real, real scary position. He does extra sensory. He doesn't have any flinch chance because he can't flinch a Dynamax. Pokemon. And Rusty gets his Max Geyser out. Ian gets his Max Geyser. Or Ian gets his Max Geyser out. So that means now we're going to have some rain on the battlefield. It does not sound good for Rusty. What with the fire types and such. And Judy gets a Snarl off. That's also going to lower the special attack on both of them, because, again, it is a spread move. He also gets the KO on Chandelure that's weak to them, dark moves, and whatnot. Judy is really pulling her weight. So now Rusty's got to pick him up. Yep. So the Cinderace is coming out now, I would suspect. Oh, Volcarona. And we have a Volcarona. Interesting. Now, assuming Rusty hasn't made any move changes, which he may have, that Volcarona has Hurricane, which does not check accuracy in rain. Now they're deliberating on their moves. It's important to note that Rusty does have two special attackers out right now, uh, so uh, that snarl is really dangerous to him. Yep. Ian can uh, nerf his mons pretty well. Oh, he does get a burn off due to the Scorching Sands. It's really getting some work out. 
the Max Geyser of the Volcarona. It survives thanks to its focus sack. Damn. And it gets a bug buzz off. Faster than Juni. Beating that Juni. Yeah, uh, like uh, Nathan said, I don't like that snarl. On so it was a good, almost good rusty... almost any of my mons don't like that snarl. Yeah. Uh, Cinderace uh, is fine without. Yeah. yeah, fire types, especially now that Ian has nixed uh, Blaziken. Basically, all of Rusty's fire types, except for Cinderace, are special attackers. So, uh, Ian was very smart to make good use of uh, snarl there. And we see Ian bringing his chandelure. Hot man! Ow. Can Rusty deal with his own medicine? His own burning and spectral medicine. Eats that no. shadow ball off. It's going to hurt no matter what. Especially if you only have one uh, hit point left. Interesting. Max Geyser comes out on his last turn of Dynamax. Is that enough to take out Nine Tails? Looks like it. Should be. Nine Tails is bulky. Yeah, sure. It does have a decent special defense. Too. I think with the prior damage, it, it, it didn't stand much chance of win, uh, surviving. Yeah. Rusty's got two Mons left. I think they're both coming out. Should, yeah. Double kill. Yep. And got both slots. So Rusty does have a couple of prompts to pick which side of the field. Yeah, uh, the menu there was a little bit weird. Yeah, it always is. We can get and see that shiny little bunny. And Hot Man, or not Hot Man, uh, the Tickler is now uh, tiny again. Uh, it is important to note that we do know that the Tickler has perfect IVs. All six IVs are perfect. Somehow. He's the perfect tickler. Mistake. Ian says he made a mistake. Let's see if it actually was. It is. That was a mistake. No mistakes, only happy accidents. No, this one's a mistake. It was a mistake. And my favorite Poker Bob Ross. So uh, Rusty outspeeds thanks to Sucker Punch, and since Libero uh, gave it stab, it, it basically just one shots. That was the mistake I actually made. Yeah. So Ian gets a surf off, and while Sun boosted, it doesn't actually take anybody out. Rain boosted. Yeah, rain boosted, uh, and Rusty is able to get rid of that rain using his sunny day. Uh, it's also important that Rusty changed uh, Cinderace's type so that now it's not uh, weak to blow. Mm -hmm. well, I don't think he would have survived that. It's a bit fragile. Ian brings out God, his hollow chip. It's a scary God. Did that again. Not you. Ian keeps thinking he's making mistakes. Let's see if they actually are. It is. Oh, Rusty pops his Dynamax. Goes yeet. That is a big old bunny. And even though he's a dark type, somehow he can still stand on fire. It makes even less sense since now. And now I'm not fire. Now you are fire. Oh yeah, now I'm not dark. This is God dying. Good God bye. <laughs> Tickler gets a surf off. I think that's enough to take out the Magmortar. So now it's just one on one. No spread modifiers, no nothing. But Ian, you do have to deal with the Gigantamax Cinderace. I do have to deal with Gigantamax Cinderace. And you've got to burn Tickler. Can, Can he pull it off? No, this is, this is KO right here. 
sekarang di baru di baru di baru yep the uh, cinderace gets the ko knocks out the tickler and rusty wins the double battle yeah that's that's what we talked about uh um my one check to fire type say yeah you you uh yeah. got overwhelmed because your one check got finally got beat mm-hmm no, what? your your one check. Uh, I did not allow you to use it. Oh, no. okay. You 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 had two checks. You had yeah. Guntley and the tickler. Yeah. But either way, I'm proud of both of you. I like that uh, you guys uh, uh, strategized and planned ahead for each other. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen with you guys now. Um, and in I since in one one battle. And Rusty won uh, the other battle. I think the only logical conclusion is that I'm the best battler of the three. Okay. Fine. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So, uh, I do want to... Um, I'm going to set my team back up the way that it was. So, uh, And then I want to talk about it. Uh, and then I want to hear what uh, Ian's strategy was. Oh, yeah. We did. We did hear about um, Charlie's uh, plan that for never worked. Yeah. what? That yeah. never worked. It never worked. So um, while he's getting his team set back up, so that's the big thing I did was Charlie. Yeah. So going back and forth. Yeah. I was kicking around. I was like, okay, what's the item to give? Because I was thinking of giving him the fire super effective reduction berry. That would be a uh, Oka Berry, if yeah. memory serves. Um, but my decision on that was, I'm going to be, uh, I'm probably going to be getting hit in Sun. Yeah. And Charlie's special defense sucks. Yeah. So even with the fire reduction Berry, yeah. Um, I don't think that he can survive, like a flamethrower. Yeah. Um, especially uh, because I expected Rusty to go ahead and say, "Well, I'm gonna lead with Sun because that's what I do." Yeah. Um. So I was planning on fighting the Nine Tails and not fighting the Mag Mortar because I figured you would auto set the fi- auto set fire, um, or auto set Sun and then use uh, Mag Mortar as your backup Sun Setter and not lead with him. Right. So that was that was my that was my plan mostly because that's how I that's how I roll mostly what I do when I do weather teams is even though. They are expecting it. I still go for it, yeah. right? But you're you're also planning around a meta where they may be expecting it, but you're also not the only opponent. So like they 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 see a sun team, uh, but that sun team is not designed specifically to fight you. Yeah. So um, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm coming from the from the monotype right. background is what I is what I play so. So that's what I was mind gaming around. Um, Charlie had had that. Um, if you notice, uh, my chandelier outsped everything. That's because he's scarfed. If you were wondering why he got that hit off before, uh, before Volcarona could do anything else, uh, it uh, didn't super trigger anything in me. Chandelier's not slow, and Mag Mortar yeah. is really slow. Well, it was it not especially slow. It's like base eighty five. Yeah, it, it outsped Larvesta is what it did. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, okay. So you saw that I put the focus sash on Chandelure and Volcarona. Mm-hmm. Um, they are my two probably. They're probably my most just raw, <laughs> powerful Pokemon, and they yeah, also yeah. have the most weaknesses. You have yeah. tons of things that can throw rocks that have earthquakes available to them. Yeah. Um, you didn't, you didn't end up using anything except for Guntley with earthquake, but you could have. And, uh, I, you know, God, I, I did teach God, uh, um, stone edge. Yeah. Right. Um, so you, you broke your focus sash with Guntley or not Guntley with, uh, Charlie turn one by using surf. No, I broke my focus sash cause he, uh, cause he, uh, soft sand, or, uh, uh, scorching sand. sands is not a spread move. I checked yeah, it. Uh, I checked it after the second I, I time just, I used it. Uh, yeah. um, I just checked it. I don't, I, like, I, I, I don't know it. how I, I don't know how I damaged Charlie. I, are you sure you've got a focus sash on it? Well, yeah. that, what he did is because, uh, uh, tickler outsped Charlie. Yeah. 
uh, he broke focus ash by using. Switch. Yeah, yeah, I did it to myself there. So that oh, was the mistake okay. I made. Yeah. So Ian, Ian, what Ian didn't do is before J the game, he didn't check his speeds. Uh, he was expecting to get the uh, the rain, rain dance off. off with Charlie before. Yeah, uh, yeah, I just didn't even think about it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I uh, mag mortar is my coverage. So I gave him an umbrella because he probably wasn't going to be flamethrowering anyway. He was going to be, he might be setting sunny day on the way out. Um, and he, he's more likely to be setting sunny day on the way out as a last move than he is to be setting it and then flamethrowering. Right. Uh, but he had a uh, thunderbolt and uh, scorching sands. Yeah. Uh, so he was my uh, coverage. See, um, and I, so in the in the single battle, I knew I knew that you were most scared of the tickler. I knew that. So that so, which was which not, was a bad call for me. I should have yeah. been much more scared of Guntley. I definitely underestimated uh, Guntley. And I knew, and I knew you would, because when I think of Flygon, I don't think good. Like he's fine. Yeah. Well, and part of it is uh, fire actually lost some ability to deal with dragons yeah. uh, because nothing gets hit in power ice anymore. Yeah. And yeah, uh, I I do not have an ice move that I can teach to any of my Pokemon that makes sense. Yeah, and, and I do and I knew that uh um and I knew that you really didn't have anything for Guntley. Like Nine Tails I think gets Ice Fang or something. Like the I'm not saying there are no ice moves. I'm yeah. saying there are none that make sense on this team. Um, uh, you're, you're probably better off using something like Dazzling Gleam or something. Or yeah. something. Yeah. I definitely looked at it. Um, and uh, like uh, Chandelure doesn't get uh, anything. I was kind of hoping Chandelure got Ice Beam or something. Um, yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't get like Dragon Pulse or anything either. I, I really don't have much to do with dragons. Yeah. Um, um, which Fires has always, Fire teams have always struggled against dragons. Uh, and this this gen, I think, really hurt with that due to you losing head and power. Yeah. Um, so uh, I had uh, uh, the the flame body uh, hitting the burn on the tickler was also good. Uh, that helped a lot. I probably wouldn't have one shot you if you hadn't been taking damage for the whole fight. Yeah. Um, so let's see what else did I have? Uh, Volcarona with the focus sash. Uh, I mean, this is just the set that you run with Volcarona. Yeah. This is yeah, not this. This is not me doing anything clever. This is it needs to survive a turn so it can hit, especially if I'm Volcarona trying to dance probably, in any way. Volcarona well, probably prefers like Giga Drain over Hurricane just to like hit rock types and stuff. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's basically the set. Um. So uh, nothing really to talk about there. Focus Sash to keep it alive while it sets up and then sweeps. Uh, Blaziken, I gave Assault Vest, uh, because, yeah. uh, it's only got offensive moves. Yeah. Um, now, the one, uh, thing that, uh, Rusty may not have been accounting for is that in Sunlight, uh, Volcarona's Hurricane actually only has a 50% chance of hitting. Yeah. Uh, Sunlight actually decreases Hurricane's chance of hitting. I did not know that. Uh, I didn't either. Um, so... I, I, I thought I remember that, but I didn't want to say it because I wasn't 100% sure. Um, uh, I just looked it up. So the reason uh, that my uh, actually the part of the reason that my uh, tickler lasted as long as he did is because he had the assault vest. Because I knew most of your team was special attackers. Yeah. I was wondering about that. He seemed and, like I looked up your special defense, and it's big, but it's not. It it startled me a little bit how little damage I was doing there. No, no, I I assault vested him because. Uh, my my idea was that Guntley is going to kill any of your your physical attacking, uh, um, and because I knew Gunt in that first fight, I knew Guntley was my first line of defense because you were planning around because uh, um, you were probably going to be planning around the tickler, and by the time that Guntley would have would have died, yeah. I was I am, imagined a significant amount of your team would have also died. Um, and that's why the tickler didn't have rain dance, yeah. right? Um, now 
I was going to screw with your weather with the cat because that cat was going to come in and die because I couldn't do anything else with that, that goddamn that, cat. That cat would, didn't have anything useful to do other than set rain. That was a good idea. That would If, if you had gotten that off, that would have definitely surprised me. I was it, not. It would, have, it would have had a lot of value. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, Ian did not account for playing by it. No, I didn't. Um, and I was, I was like, okay, do I just do it now? I'm like, okay, well, I'll just go ahead and get the, get the chip damage so that yeah. whatever comes after has an easier time. That was the decision I made. I think whatever came after ha- would have had an easier time to bring this up. Probably. Yeah. Well, um, I, I expected again. I expected him to, him to be around. Yeah. Because you fake out, you go to you go to the next turn, and you and you reset with them with a little bit less damage, and that's what you do. Because he didn't really have any anything else. Like he doesn't he doesn't get Stone Edge. Like he gets Dig. Was like a Charlie. Guy. Charlie doesn't get Stone Edge. No, and I'm pissed about it. That is kind of rough. I was like, how is he supposed to deal with fire types? And I guess Game Freak's answer was die. Or dig. Dig would have screwed with me too, but uh, I outspent it. Yeah. It, with, mo- with most things. Dig probably had more utility than Iron Head. I wasn't getting in this Iron Head for two fights. In this yeah. fight, yes, it probably did. Yeah. I wasn't going to override Iron Head for two fights. Uh, so nine tails, you were right in that I was going to set sun with it and uh, heat rock. Yeah, um, that's a pretty easy strategy. Um, yes. It has solar which, beam. It sure. also has scorching sands. Yeah, yeah. which is cool tech. Yeah, and, and um, it came in handy in that fight because it obviously helped wear down uh, Ian's tick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but like, um, but uh, but that's why I decided to give. Uh, give the assault vest to the tickler and that's part of the reason that i knocked out blaziken is because i'm like well it does limit him down to just the one uh physical attack and um, I, was, I was still sorry I was, yeah i was still worried about your cinderace i knew you, I you knew, should have picked cinderace but whatever well i i thought about picking cinderace and then i'm like that's his favorite mon on this team there's no way i'm gonna pick his favorite mon. i was like I'm going to bring it. I'm not going to limit the one shiny. Oh, I was, uh, when I, when I agreed to that, I was ready for you to say Cinderace. I'm not, I'm not saying that, uh, the fight would have gone differently, but I was prepared for you to say Cinderace. Yeah. Um, I like that you guys were thinking about it. Yeah. The uh, the other thing that I should have done and didn't do um, is I should have swapped extra sensory for uh, psycho. Uh, the one that hits physically. Psyshock. 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 Yeah. Uh, Nine Tails does get Psyshock. It is compatible with it, uh, and I uh, almost did. Um, and, and then I, uh, wanted to check the moves that it got, uh, during level up. I wanted to double check that there wasn't something better, uh, and then forgot about it. I intended to have Psyshock on nine tails. And when it didn't have Psyshock, I was like, Oh shit. Um, uh, Psyshock would have dealt with the tickler way, way better than extra sensory did. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And it would have, it would have worked around your, uh, um, assault vest very well too that was that was legitimately a mistake that i i i planned around having it psy shock on it and just forgot that it uh, i hadn't done it yet yeah um I also, yeah I, I, uh, there was a couple times especially in that double where i was like where i where i clicked the wrong thing. yeah ian did you know that chandelure gets solar beam yes i did i thought about doing it and i'm like can i put put but I'm like, oh wait, this is not gonna help. There was, it wrong. would not have helped against me at all. None of my things would have. Yeah. Um, but I, but I scarfed my chandelier, uh, my chandelier. I was, I, I was thinking it was especially. Mm-hmm. Well, I was going to be using one move on it anyway, and I wanted to get a hit off. Battle shot. 
Yeah, Shadow Ball is just very good. Yeah. Like, well, um, it's it's the it's the dark type uh, special or the uh, psychic type special ghost type. Jesus Christ, uh, special attacking move. Who's the staff? And uh, he has all of the special attack, and I'm like, this can come into handy like as something that would have outsped it. Now it doesn't. And you got a good revenge pick. Yeah. And I was going to try to. Uh, I was kind of hoping that I could that I could uh, get the ditto to happen, but. Yep. I I knew that probably wouldn't happen, and it did. And that's. Yeah. So Cinderace has good enough stats that um, almost every competitive set runs uh, boots uh, to deal with hazards. Mm-hmm. I figured that the only hazards you were ever going to be putting up was maybe spikes from um, your Tinder Cruel. Uh, yeah, but be- I also figured that you weren't going to. I, ju- I just gambled that you weren't going to. Um, and with that being the case, um, uh, the boots don't matter. And the like with... Libero and, and Expert Belt is an incredible combo. Yeah. Uh, when you're not worried about entry hazards. I, yeah. I, actually, Nathan, is yeah. there a, if you're not worried about entry hazards, is there a better item for Cinderace to be wearing? I would have put uh, Life Orb, but... As you said, Life Orb would be a, a bigger boost. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And and the, life orb hits harder than expert belt. Uh, and you get the life orb boost even if it's not stabbed. Yeah. Okay. So even neutral damage does. Or, even if it's not uh, super bad. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, not that expert belt's a bad item. It's, it's, I would say it's probably the second bad. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, life orb is probably. I did, not, what... I did not know that it um, did, gave a better boost. Uh, I, knew, I knew that exactly. it would boost moves that weren't super effective. I figured that was the, the trade-off. Of, okay. Yeah, at the cost of uh, HP. And right. That's, and that's why I put Which it on. is a, a decent cost. Yeah. And that's why I... Uh, that's actually why I went Life but, Orb on uh, Gutley over, like, Expert Belt. Yeah. I thought about doing the Soft Stand, but even even the Expert... Uh, the uh, uh, Life Orb does more damage than uh, Soft Stand. Well, uh, and Life it... Life Orb is a 1.3 times boost... Expert belt is a 1.2 times boost. All right. Yeah, and so that's that's why I went uh, life orb on Gutley. And this is the one that I uh, figured that neither of you would have predicted. Oh yeah, no, I I thought actually I thought about trying to use the umbrella on my team. I I, I, uh, I kind of thought so too. Um, I, I figured you, if you, you should have considered it. I even mean, if, like, I'm not saying it was right or wrong to use it or not. I'm saying you should have been considering it. Yeah. You know, I had a sun team. Yeah. Yeah. No, I definitely, I definitely thought about it, but uh, I wonder if Charlie would have lived a flamethrower. Probably not. Well, you didn't have sun up when you use that flamethrower to kill Charlie anyway. You're right. Uh, in the- in the first fight. In the second fight you did, but it didn't yeah. matter. Yeah. Um, so, that, so that's why I tried to uh, um, try to, to be sneaky with it. But. Yeah. Um, there's no way to know without testing it, but I think it would have survived with uh, Okamari. I thought about that, but I'm but I was just probably uh, not Okamari in the sun, yeah. but probably would have survived. See, and I, I thought that there was a good chance that it would have been uh, Okaberry in the in the sun. Then that's why the first time that's why I did it like I did. Off of Magmortar, I should say. That. I think uh, after Chandelure Magmortar, I think Chandelure Magmortar would have KO'd in the sun. I don't think. It was. Yeah. So uh, move sets. Uh, Sucker Punch is really good and competitive. It's a good move. Yeah, I love that. And it, it got rid of. I was scared of Chandelure. It got rid of it real handily. Yeah. Yep. Um. It also hit the tickler. Mm-hmm. You were you were right that uh, it was well it 
Sucker Punch did not hit the tickler. Max Starkus hit the tickler. Yeah, yeah you, you came coming off the Sucker Punch. Yeah. Um, uh, so it, that, that was the only move that hits the tickler. Yeah, uh, well, it's the only move that hits it neutrally. Yeah. Um, it's, it's fantastic coverage. Um, it deals with a lot of really aggressive things. I love Sucker Punch on Cinderace. Um, Iron Head uh, makes me able to not be a fire type. Um, now, with Earthquakes in play, that didn't really matter. Um, you really, really startled me by having Guntley being faster than Cinderace. I was not expecting that. Yeah. Um, uh, to give, you, give you a sense of it, uh, Cinderace, I believe, has 120 base speed of memory, sir. Yeah, because I'm remembering him being uh, 120 and Inteleon. You are adamant, not uh, jolly. Right. So, right. Um, let me double check. And um, we know you are max speed. You're 119. I'm sorry. 119, basically. And then... Uh, Flygon? No, not uh, Flygon. Inteleon. And Inteleon is 120. And it was one point different. Yeah, it's one point fast. Um, Flygon is also relatively fast. Um base on 100 speed. Um, same as its attack stat. Those are its two highest stats. Every other stat is base 8. Um, so those, those aren't bad stats. Um, but yeah, base 100 attack, base 100 speed. Those are, those are decent. Um, and after a 1.5 times boost to that speed, he should be faster by a considerable margin. Yeah. Um, I think even if you were timid. Um, now, I don't think we have any way of are, do you what, what are Guntley's uh, IVs? Uh, let me go because I, I bet it does have a perfect speed IV. Uh, hold on. The the uh, hold on. I am in a battle. Uh, I know the trap inch I based it on has like five perfect, if not six. Uh, I think the one I had gave it. Has he's six. got a he's got a speed raising nature too. He does have a speed raising nature, um, which I read. Uh, what what is your Cinderace's said. speed right now, Rusty? Uh, 283. So should ask me. Yeah, I'm 233 base right now. But with that dragon dance, you got me. Well, and part of it is Ian has arbitrary EVs. Uh, Rusty has uh, competitive EVs. On the on the on the center race, I have uh, competitive. Yeah, you, you, you've itemed it before the the run. Yeah. Um, so Ian Ian's uh effort values, unless he redid them. I didn't. I th I thought about hmm. Do I? Put in the time to do that, and I'm like, mm, fuck no. You should have done it to one. Um, I thought about it, and I'm like, eh. but uh, Flygon's effort values would have been arbitrary, whatever he came up against in the in game playthrough. No. Um, but even with get all that considered, uh, a 1.5 times boost to his speed that was given to him by uh, uh, the Dragon Dance should pretty easily have speed. Uh, Rusty, uh, you, you said you said you were adamant, not uh, jolly. Correct. Okay, so then, yeah, he, he, well, he should have been that. I am. Uh, yeah, I've, I've got uh, adamant. I've got adamant candy on it. Adamant. Man. It it is jolly by nature. So, uh, um, so yeah, but it's, it's um, only, but I I made it. Um, yeah, it is jolly by nature, but I made it uh, adamant. Uh, but yeah, no, it's yeah. He is one of my. If you were truly going to use that Cinderace competitively, you'd probably want to swap back to. Yeah. yeah um, so, I believe did... competitive Cinderace. Is... But yeah, no, I. So I thought about. Uh, so I thought about having the uh, the blacks keeping the black sludge on it uh, on uh, the tickler for the uh, heal back, but I'm like. I don't know if we'll actually be around to if the battle will go long enough, especially because I'm planning on using him late. I'd rather I'd rather be able to take something to the teeth than uh, than ha than have the continuous heal. I probably should have switched uh, to the um, probably should have switched back like to the black sludge or something uh, for the double battle, but yeah. Uh, yeah, in Battle Stadium singles, G Max Libero runs Jolly. Uh, the Focus Sash set sometimes runs Adamant. 
uh, but it's still Slash with Jolly. Uh, the choice item set can be uh, adamant if it's running choice card. Gotcha. Its attack is good enough that it doesn't need, or its uh, um... speed. Yeah, its speed is slow enough that uh, giving it the points is more important than the attack. Usually, you do the speed boosting nature. Uh, yeah. In Just because speed creep is that much of a thing. Yeah, no. Speed yeah. creep. You, is... you have to be very precise with how you do your speed. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. Um, I did have Earthquake on Blaziken. Um, Earthquake and Stone Edge. Um, just because they're very good moves. Yeah. Um, um, you might have considered putting a Protect on it to safely get your speed boost. Mm -hmm. um, uh, except I had a uh, Assault Vest on it. Yeah. And yeah, a different name. Um, a something like Protect... Uh, Close combat, blaze kick, uh, damage. I actually probably would have run flare blitz myself. Yeah. Um, yeah. I uh, I definitely thought about it, but uh, I didn't. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, protect close combat, flare blitz, uh, and then earthquake probably. Uh, we probably what I would have run, uh, just because getting that safe uh, speed boost is really really good uh in my 1v1s it's possibly swapping out like for like protect swords dance uh close combat play flip um may have been what you wanted to do um yeah. I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised none of you guys had any setups i did besides ian's uh dragon i had a setup move on a pokemon that had an umbrella <laughs> it's it's hard to find a situation where you would put Sunny Day on an Umbrella user, but in this fight, I stand by it. I think it was, well, a, it was um, a good answer. If you are... So I, I looked up how the utility Umbrella works. Uh, I don't know if you looked it up on Volvopedia or not. Um, so it would only... So if you were to get targeted by a flamethrower in Sun uh, while holding the Umbrella, it doesn't get a boost. But if you are targeting something else you still get the boost. Really? Yes. Uh, so your your flamethrowers were still sun boost. I would have figured it works the opposite. You'd think. But um if so if there, I I would think that uh if anything happened that it would be the the opposite. But yeah. uh now the umbrella only affects sun and rain. It doesn't have any interaction with Hail and sandstorm. Right. I was not expecting hail or a sandstorm, yeah. or not really planning around it. I I I kind of figured that, um, you I know, a G a G Max Stone Edge or Earthquake would put them up. I just wasn't really working around it. G Max Stone Edge. Would. Yeah. Um, the uh, raises spectate. Right. Um, but the uh, um, I was I was really really concerned about um. Uh. Rain, because rain yeah. removes a lot of my strength. Yeah. Um, and so I wanted to have a hard counter for it, and I figured that Ian would just go with something slower than Nine Tails, um, and uh, put up put up rain as soon as I had sun up. Which I did. We, I did which I which was that. your plan, uh, yeah. and it just didn't work. Yeah. Um. But yeah, no, I was, uh, so what I was kind of, what I was hoping you would do, so I was hoping you would go ahead and lead with the Ninetales to, ha to have Auto Sun, mm -hmm. um, you know, survive the flamethrower or, or whatever, or actually I was going to fake attack you, survive, uh, uh, or fake out, uh, survive the flame, fire move. yeah, survive whatever fire move turn two, set up rain and force you to switch out to somebody uh or you know kill the kill the cat and then try to figure out so i was hoping to force you to either force you to switch whatever um, so if i put an umbrella on chandelure it still gets a one turn sunny day or a one turn solar beam what's that 
If I put an umbrella on Chandelure, does it still get a one-turn uh, solar beam? Let me double check. From the way he described it, yes, you should. But Nathan is looking to verify. Because that would have changed my strategy significantly. Yeah. Let me double check. Alright. Utility umbrella. Take one. Uh, for example, if the holder has chlorophyll uh, or uses growth and synthesis or synthesis and harsh sunlight, it will not have its speed double boost and sats by page, and only heal half of his HP respect. Uh, in harsh rain or sunlight, solar beams number of turn change to, uh, in charge and power are unaffected by the weather if used by a Pokemon holding the umbrella. Uh, during rain or harsh sunlight, the holder's weather ball will be normal type and the power will not be doubled. However, weather effects are applied as normal, and solar beam weather ball are targeted uh, target at the hole. Yes, uh, solar beam would still take two turns. Okay. okay. Nine Tails is doing its best. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes they get <laughs> they get crapped on uh, on uh, geometry. Come here, boy. Come here. <laughs> Okay, so are we going to do, uh, uh, we want to go ahead and do, uh, Come on. uh, Dynamax now? Okay. Yeah. So, I'm going uh, to... I am going to run to the restroom. Um, I was going to say, I'm going to do the same, so I'm going to give this to Nathan. We'll be back in just a minute. Rusty, if you will do me a favor just for when I'm uploading the VODs, um, if you will end stream and then restart stream just to separate them. Uh, do we need to separate them? I would appreciate it if you did. I would just make my life a little bit easier. Yep, I'll do that. Okay, we'll be back in probably five or so minutes. Actually, I'll just I'll just go ahead and turn the stream off, and we'll turn it back on when we come back. Yep. All right. See you in a minute. 